Hello everybody and welcome once again to Mechanism 110. At the end of the last episode we produced some deuterium and some tr tritium. And since then I've moved the machines around. So basically the deuterium was coming from the left hand side, now it's on the right hand side. And the tritium is coming from the other side. It was on the right hand side, now it's on the left hand side. And I've, since then I've also put some speed upgrades in these solar neutron activators. So that's that. Now, today we're actually going to build the reactor. And we need quite a lot of materials for that, especially at the beginning for the casings. I reckon that I need 81 casings, so, but they can only make them... Uh, I need 84, actually. So let's do that, first of all. Let's put on the NEI, because I turned it off a second ago, and let's have a look at our mechanism. And we want the reactor. So we need some, that's a reactor controller, we need one of those. And these will need 84 of these, because they come into fours. So for that we need 84 steel casings. No, yes we do. Sort that around again and have some more. So that's, it. that's the year 84. We also need some atomic alloys, as you saw in the recipe there. And so we need um, quite a few of these actually, but I've already got a few made. So we need 21 plus enough for the ultimate control circuits. So let's do those as well. I've got in here 64 reinforced alloys, which will be enough. We need to make these. So in here, I'm going to take three of these and put those at the top here. They then should get sent out. So we need 21 of these. Uh, sorry, 24. Like that. Put that into the chest. And that should then come back as some atomic alloys here. Now with those atomic alloys, what we need to do is to make the ultimate control circuits. So let's have a quick look. Advanced. I'm going to have to make five, I think. Ultimate control circuit. So we need to first of all make these. So that'll make elite control circuits. We need five of those. And then on those we need five ultimate control circuits like this. And for the rest, we're going to use those to make the, the reactor casings. In fact, the reactor casings are used in virtually all of the important bits. So we need a, one of these, a laser focus matrix, and you have to make them in twos. The reactor glass is made from casings and glass. So let's get them make the casings first. A little bit of luck, these will be back now. Yes, they are. And I'm going to make all the ones we've got so we make 21 which will give us our 84 reactor frames like that now we need some reactor glass we'll make that next we need actually 11 well, of course we have to make those into 12s well we don't actually need reactor glass but we it's very good to have them we also need these ultimate control circuits for this so we need to make Actually, I'll make the reactor control at first. So a basic gas tank and one glass pane. The basic gas tank is four. Like that. Where's it gone to? And then we need, actually, we need five ports. Well, I'm going to use five ports anyway. And this will make six. And I think that's everything that I need. There is one more thing we need to take, and that's the whole RAM. So let's quickly go and do that. That will do in the metallurgy confuser. So I haven't got any preparation for that at the moment. But what it is, is I'm not sure how many charcoal. Put one charcoal in or one coal to give us some co uh, carbon in here 20 
It might require two. Oh, no, it didn't. Let's have a look. How many has it got in here now? So you only needed ten, so there we are. And that should come back into here in one whole ram. So, the reason we can do the reactor today is because this thing is surprisingly full. So we'll look at it. So we've already got 1.2 gigajoules of um, power stored, which is more than enough to actually do it. So the reactor. Let's start doing the reactor now. I'll move the bed out of the way, actually. So the, the pattern is relatively straightforward. So basically it's forming a sort of a cube type shape. So we'll start off with get rid of that the bottom pattern which is a five which is a cross and then a square on top of it and the next one the next layer up we've basically got like this going across the, the corners what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it out as, as far as I can to start with using reactor frames and then I'll replace the reactor frames with normal block with those special blocks afterwards so this is the big biggest layer as it were which is the I would do it like that and then we come to a smaller layer again on top of this basically it's a symmetrical part of this one And then we'll, f we'll start on the last part of this layer. In fact, the, ro the controller, which is actually the one that came next, is actually where it should be. It's in the middle, like that. Now we get reactor ports. So what I'm going to do now is I have run out of parts, but we'll, we'll soon fix that. So here, this, I can't really see it because I'm a bit close to this. Here, we can actually make it, uh, so where we put the, I'm going to put some glass in here like that. And the laser focus matrix wants to be in the middle of that. The reason I'm putting glass in here is so we can see what's happening in the reactor. So the reactor glass. Oops, wrong machine. Let's try that. Goes like this. And then we can put the focus matrix in the middle of this. Oh, I didn't make it, did I? Never mind, we'll have to go and do that in a second. What we'll do in the meantime is to fill in the rest of this or what we can. Yes, like that. I have to shift click that one on. And again. <laughs> and over the other side as well. Right, we'll go and quickly make the react, uh, f focus matrix. That requires glass and a block of redstone. So it does sort of get uh, some redstone out of here. Probably run out already in this chest. Ah, oh, 63, that's actually... I oh, actually got a block of redstone anyway, so let's just take that out. And react to glass. So we'll use for one of the... It's actually to cross button. Like that. And that makes two. We only can, we're only going to use one, so we'll put the other one away. In here. And we'll put one of these away in here as well, because we're only going to use five. Now the ports. Mm, let's put in the let's put the focus matrix in the first, like that. Now the ports. You can see here. I've got the two. The two gases coming into this so let's just knock this one out here I'm going to put one in here and one in here so the is the middle layer so one of these is going to take the deuterium and the other one's going to take deuterium so all we need to know how to do is get some probably won't connect at the moment 
some basic uh, pressurized tubes. I don't think I need anything more than basic pressurized tubes. There we go, I've got two. I need two of those for this. And what we can do here, we can put another piece of reactor glass like that. So one of those goes up there, the other goes up there. And you see it doesn't connect yet because we haven't formed the reactor. We're nearly finished. We need to carry on putting away some more blocks because we've got a few more blocks now, I think. Three. More reactor frames, I should really say, shouldn't I? So we basically just need to replace two more of these. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to next time I'm going to replace these for steam so what I'm going to do is take these out of here we also need one to get power out so let's do that first yes let's just do that like this I think we can we can't change this so much after we formed the reactor because then you have to restart the reactor so it becomes a bit expensive I think I will just put one in the middle and we'll put two pieces of glass on each side like this. And then we'll come round and we'll do the same again over here. Now this is going to be for steam and water. Or maybe even power out. It's, it really doesn't matter at the moment. I think that's everything. I picked up everything. So we just finished the finished the reactor off. Now we're just uh, two more, and this one should be the the forming one. So let's put that down, and sure enough, it's lit up the reactor controller. So if we look at this now, it's formed, and it's got fuel. It's got fuel from deuterium and tr tritium, and we have to change this rate here to two because that's the minimum size of this. It should tell me somewhere on statistics, I think. Yes, here we go. Air cooled, minimum injection rate two. So we need a, a maximum, an ignition temperature of one million Kelvin. And then the plasma casings for the for the case and the inside 150 and 100 million Kelvin. And it will generate 500,000 joules per tick. I can change that to RF, so it would then be 200,000 RF per tick. So, now, we next, the next thing we need to do is we need to charge this thing up, the whole ram, with some DT fuel. So in here, I've got DT fuel, and I'm going to simply put that into there like that. And I'm going to not take a chance, because if I do take a chance, it's going to take a long time to fill up again. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this DT, tank, DT fuel tank here, and then rotate it around. And then that should also give this. Oops, there's a block of there's a frame inside. I didn't see that before. Let's go and just quick before we start it. It's a good time to, to get collect things if you. There we go. So now we put the whole round, which is charged with DT fuel here. So look at the fuel situation. So it's got DT fuel from the, the gas tank on the side there. And I believe that's important. I think you can't start it without DT fuel, but I'm not 100% sure. Might try it as a test world later on. So that's it formed and ready to go. So I'm going to remove this tank for the time being. Oops. Oh, how did I do that? I want to shift right. Ah, oh, probably doesn't. Yes, it does behave a bit strangely when I have something in my hand. In my off hand when I do shift right clicking with the, uh, the configurator. So that's it. Let's see. Now, this start up. We're not doing anything with the power yet. We'll have to do that next. So right click this. Turn it off. 
And there we go, one reactor has started. What I still don't know yet, there's a few more things. You can see the reactor's working away. Let's go and have a look on the controller. So let's see what it says about the fuel. See, there's no DT fuel in here anymore, but it's still running. And these have gone down a little bit. Statistics and power. So it's now storing 1.2 million RF, or 1.3, and it's creating 227. It's going down slightly, what it's creating, probably because the temperature is rising up. The case temperature is one, what it was the maximum, it was one million. For let's have a quick look at the statistics. Case maximum came to was 100 million Kelvin. So it's going down to the 100 million Kelvin and the plasma was 150. But we've already got 280, 90 million uh, RF stored. So we need to do something with this RF next. Well, I did that quicker than I expected to do actually. So what we could do is actually make more power by connecting these some here to here, but I haven't got any water yet. I need to make a big tank of water. Got that thing whizzing around. Cool. But maybe I've got enough time to make an induction matrix. Let's have a quick look at what we have to do for that. Basically, we need some of these induction casings. We've got plenty of steel, I think, and that will make four. And it's a, I think the minimum size is four by three, that's 12 by four. That's 48 minus four, that'd be 44. So we need 44, so we need 11 of these energy tablets to start with. So 11 energy tablets, we need lots of, it's redstone, isn't it? And 11 will be 33 gold if uh, it yes it's three gold for each one so we can do that and this then we need to go and get some more enriched alloys but we need to make some more enriched alloys i'll do that while we're thinking about it. i've only got two compressed let's quickly i'll make some more compressed 64 will do And that needs to go at the top, doesn't it? Because it's a second product. I'll wait for this to come back. So here we go. So we need oh, 11, that's fine. And as you see, they don't stack, so that's always a, a challenge. And then for these, we need steel, so we need 44 steel. Probably need more, actually, because we also need to make some induction ports. So we need, uh, yes, we do, in fact, another, actually, just another four. So that's just another one of those tablets. Let's make that while we can. Yeah, we've got enough for that one. And the rest was steel, so we need 48 steel. I think I've got it in here. 64, that will be enough. And of course, because these things don't stack, we have to do it one at a time. In fact, it's probably easier to do it like this, isn't it? So we need uh, an elite control circuit for that one. Right, good. 
that will then give us enough. We won't be able to do anything with this yet. But we're going to go and put it down over here somewhere, I reckon. It seems like a good place to me. So, where have we got this? I've got some reactor casings. I probably won't make too many to enough for extra. So I didn't need 84, I just needed 80 in that case. Oops, missed. And again. Knock those off. And it basically goes like this. dreadful today and like this now this is this this won't work yet but we can I believe put into these um, the next components I guess I did the calculation completely wrong but that's not a big deal because if you need to expand it we can expand it later on so we need to make an ba uh, basic induction cell which is one basic energy cube so we'll do that quickly i think we probably got missing glass on there because we need some more steel casings i actually got some more steel casings in here let's use those what else do we need for that more of these we will need another four plus two so we need six more of these so six threes are eighteen. So eighteen gold. We've got enough alloys and we don't have enough redstone there yet, so let's see if we can get some more redstone. Quite hard doing these calculations and you have to get them wrong sometimes if you haven't planned it out hundred percent. So we need six of those, didn't we? So we need a uh, steel casing and we need, so we need the more lithium dust, I probably haven't got enough items in here. Two iron ingots we're missing. Wrong, wrong chest. So we should be able to do that this time though. In fact, I probably need to do this twice, but we'll, we'll see. So lithium dust, we've got plenty of lithium dust because we did that. Oops. <laughs> a zombie. Give me a shot. And of course that's happened because on the top of here there's no light. If I press F7, you'll see it's all lit up with nice yellow dots. Let's put that down there. Oh, lithium was going to get wasn't time before I got distracted by a zombie. Now in here we've got plenty of lithium, so we've got 64 in here. And it'll make some more now as we've removed that. And I've actually got a space here. I don't know why I have left a hole, but I did. So now we should be able to make one of these. The basic induction cell. I've got a feeling what we can do with this now is to come along here. actually put it inside oh no it doesn't work okay good I wasn't 100% sure I know this is what you use for actually replacing the items if I want to make an advanced one we can make an advanced one so I'll just put it down like this inside it and then we can close it up again now at the moment it's not going to have any let's have a look at the statistics on this one it won't have any it won't have any providers we need to make a provider yet next what we could do, of course, is connect this up. So what have I got my magic box? Have I got any faster cable than um, basic? Well, I have, but I'm going to take eight of these out. I only need two, but there is a very good trick you can do with these as well to upgrade them. 
So we go like that and like that. This thing still won't get any power because it's not got a provider. But if we take these eight here like this, just stand up on here somewhere. I don't know what we do with them really. And then take one enriched alloy. Oops. Right click this. All of that then gets upgraded to advanced. We take the next one up, which is the reinforced. Now they become elite. And it does it in eight in a time. If you look at the actual recipe for elite uh, conduit, or in this case cable, you'll see that the elite universal cable is one reinforced alloy around eight advanced. And the advanced was one enriched alloy, and they're all surrounded by basic universal cables. And the next level up is, is ultimate, which we can do again if we wanted to which is the atomic alloys I think which is the one so these are now ultimate pipes I think that's really a neat feature you've got to be if you don't want to waste those like I didn't really want to because I now get now six ultimate cables for without loss so now let's carry on and make the induction matrix and that is another basic energy cube so that this time we have to do we don't want the elite provider we want the basic actually because they are really expensive this one so we need four basic control circuits four lithium dust and one basic energy cell now we've got almost everything we need except for two iron ingots I think and some cells that was one too many We'll need four cells for that, won't we? So that's 12 gold. And we have got enough alloys, so that's good. There we go. Oh, we only need two. Oh, okay. So we need four basic control circuits and four lithium which we've already got so this gives us a basic induction provider now we come along here oops it's in the middle I wonder if I can get it out yep Put that in there and fill it up and that's formed and now we should be getting power in here so we're already getting power in as you can see it's now storing it's already got 10 million rf capacity i think it should tell me on the statistics Ah, huh. that's interesting so it was receiving 640 kilojoules per tick. Oh, that's interesting. I, w I never know where to find it. And anyway, it doesn't matter. So that's basically it for today. But as an example of how you actually would, and I'm not sure I can do this in the next few minutes, but if you wanted to upgrade this, let's just remove some of these parts away right here. You can always extend the size of this to put another induction cell in it. Which we probably could do actually. That's probably the easiest thing to do for the time being. I'll leave the casings in here. I've got two zombie flow. Two rotting flesh, don't want that. So right. So we could take another there's another basic cell like this. I've having not Oh I didn't make them all, did I? I can make those now because I know we've got two. I made that mistake with that last time. Let's do undo this one. One iron ingot to too few. Where's he gone? So now we need another four energy tablets. That's uh, four, four threes at twelve.
do that again. So then we should be able to make another energy tablet like this. Uh, energy cell element, induction cell. So now we should be able to extend the size of this. So all I need to do to do the size is I basically put down the layers like this. In fact, what I'll do, yes, I'll do it like this. And then with those two, we could become here. So we've actually got enough. So we now come out of here like that. Put that one down there. And then we can put the, the other induction cell inside, just like this. And we just fill it up. Now this time we'll have twice the capacity. I don't know see where we see the capacity. That's a bit of infuriating. So you see now it says it's two cells and the dimensions is four by three by four. I think that's what I was thinking about the first time actually. So if you want to extend this again, we can carry on extending it with, with casings and cells or we can change the cells to being advanced cells. So that's it. Now, no power shortages, from what I can see. What we can also do is to take power out of this, of course. I'm just thinking, I don't need this on this side anymore, do I? So if I take this out of here like that, and bring this around, say, here, like that, see it forms again. So we can then take these elite energy cells out, uh, ultimate cable out of here, and feed that into this one, if I've got enough. Which I haven't got quite enough, have I? I need some more. Let's have a look at my box. Basic cables there. Oops. That's not the first time I've done that. Like that. And I've got a feeling, I'm not sure, we'll do a quick test. We can actually upgrade these cables, even when it's like this. So you see this is the green, this is the basic one, and here's some basic ones. So if I upgrade this, I think it upgrades as, ma as much as it can, like that. So these are now all advanced, and the same again. See, it started to go down there which is fantastic, because that means you don't actually waste materials. So we can then do the same again, like this. And you'll see that that's actually upgraded that one as well, unlike that. And I will, I will do one more with Ultimate. See, and now I need to turn this power on. At the moment it's turned off, it's green, it's an input. So what we do is we change this to item mode, like that, configure items, and simply shift right click this, turns it to an output, and then you can hear straight away that this laser amplifier is continuously charging up now. So have a quick look at that. I uh, should probably better not the sweet potatoes in my hand. And you'll see straight away, here it says it's got a maximum of two gig. This is the bit I didn't understand, because previously it said five. Anyway. I'm not too worried about that. So, that's it for this episode. I have got the switch off, haven't I? Just in case I walk in front of this. It will not, it will actually probably kill you actually. It's very high powered. One reactor. So, I also did the, uh, ma the matrix uh, induction, which is cool. So next time, it's getting towards the end of the series, I reckon. There's not that much more to do. Uh, there's a few bits and balloons and things like that. Well, I'm going to water cool the reactor, and we'll see how much power we get from that. So until then, bye for now.